Okay, um, here's an example of a blog that we hope is going to help you to uh, work a little bit on yours, on your very own blogs. Remember that during our last uh, during our last week, which is week five, at the end, like on a Saturday or, or a Sunday, you are going to be talking a little bit about your uh, blogs, okay, and your projects and the podcasts you have recorded uh, during all these four or five weeks. Um, first of all, it's important to have clear that the design is going to be different, of course, the template is going to be totally different, okay? But there's going to be a banner, okay? Um, as you can see, I designed this banner using a web service online, which is similar to Photoshop, but you, but you don't have to pay uh, anything. You don't even have to sign up. Uh, now, if you don't want to do this, you can simply type the name of the blog and that's all, okay? Um, now, what else your blog is going to have? It's going to have three pages, an About Me page, my podcast page, and my podcast project. It shouldn't have any other page, just three pages, right? And the content should be similar. Let's have a look at the About Me page. In the About Me page, you're going to have a picture of yourself, a description, um, uh, where you're going to talk about yourself as a teacher and also you're going to share a little bit of personal information so to do that uh, you are going to embed the blog you designed you created like uh, three or four weeks ago okay so you are going to copy the code and you're going to paste it to paste it there on uh, you're going to paste it on this first page, the About Me page. Okay. As you can see, there is no uh, comments here. I'm going to show you how to uh, make it available or not. In this example, in this uh, sample, we are not uh, using it because we want to have just the uh, About Me page uh, as the page to show people, to let know people who you are, and that's all. Okay. Um, also, in the My Podcast page, uh, as you can see, you will find all the podcasts you have recorded so far. I've got here Podbean. Uh, this is the one, um, uh, the, the audio file you uploaded, right, to Podbean. And there you have the first uh, audio file you recorded using Audacity. And, and then you upload it to uh, Podbean. Then you have Podomatic and you have a description of a picture here. Then you have uh, MP3 Skype Recorder, the interview. Then you have Audio Boo, um, you are talking about a mystery person. Vokaroo, you as you're asking a question to your uh, uh, moderators. And Cherbit, you are um, uh, you recorded a tongue twister. As you can see here, here there is a comment um, box here. So people can ask questions or write opinions about these podcasts. Then uh, we have the My Podcast Project, where you are going to describe in detail what uh, you are planning to do, okay, um, based on what you have learned during all these sessions. So we have the title here, the main objective, the level, the class type, the aim, the activity focus, the time, material, and the procedure in detail. And once again, you can write comments here or ask questions, okay. What else do we have here? Here we've got uh, on the sidebar. I added the Block Lines podcasts. Block Lines is a uh, website where you can um, uh, add all, all your, for example, all, all your students' blogs URLs, and you don't have to visit each single uh, blog. But you go to blog, uh, you go to Block Lines, and from that website you can check all the uh, the blogs, and you can even. Uh, learn uh, a little bit about updates when um, your students have been adding uh, new information to their blogs okay so let's have a look at I'm gonna uh, um, give you like a sort of a hint on how I added information to each page so I'm gonna click here on design and post in and now I'm gonna click here on first edit posts because I want to go to the first page where I have information about myself. This is what I do. I'm going to show you here. And what I do is that I have um, I created a document in in Word, okay, and I added all all the information for each page: the About Me page, 
uh, my podcast and I have all the codes there and also my podcast project so what I do is that uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is that I will copy it, the information including the codes and um, paste it on the blog right on each page now I believe this is a good idea in the sense that if you make a mistake or something you don't have to type everything again you have it on this word document so for example for the about me page I copy first this all this okay oh I copy oh good now right I copy all this and I uh, went to my blog here it's very little bit and I pasted everything here I added a picture here to add a picture you click here is and then uh, here you don't see the HTML the HTML the HTML code for Glockster or for my blog but if I click here on the HTML you are going to see the code here see so once again I copy the code okay and pasted this code on my blog this is something I do. I like to uh, center, to have everything, everything center on my blog, uh, the players or whatever it is that I embed in, uh, in my blog. So to do that, I type center, which is a code. And then at the end of this code, I type this and this center. And then I copy this and I went back to my blog and paste the code here in the HTML right and to make sure everything's alright I click here on preview See, and everything's alright when you see this space here and if you don't like it you can go back you can click here on edit and here there is a lot of a space here so I delete you have to use delete and that's it and it's going to look much better See? See, it's better now. Okay. Now, and I publish my post. Now, I want to check a little bit the edit pages because I have to add information there. So, I'm going to show you how I added the information to each page. My podcasts. Edit. Since I have HTMLs, what I did was that I click here, edit HTML, and then I copied from my. Uh, document in Word, I, I copy all this. I copied all this. The names and the uh, and the codes, copy this, and then I paste everything here. And as you can see, there there's like some space here. I'm going to click here on the lead, and everything is going to look way much better. Okay. I check here. Same thing here. Okay. Same thing here. Same thing here. Same thing here and here and that's all now I'm gonna preview just in case and see I have all my um, podcast tool there and I once again click on publish page I can view the page now I wanna check um, another page I wanna ch check uh, my I wanna add information to my podcast project so I click here on edit come back here to my word and document I copy all this copy and then I click here on compose because this is not HTML and I paste it you see it like this because I changed the color of the titles here it's they're white and the rest of the information it's like sort of yellow or orange and, um, and as you will see preview see the whole information is there okay so let's let's go back to the blog you can you're going to publish of course once you have everything uh, pasted on the page okay I promise I was going to show you where you can uh, make available or not the uh, comments box so I'm gonna click here on my podcasts and here post post options you can here click allow or do not allow um, reader comments and that's all so click here if you want to click here if you don't want to I'm gonna click here because click here I want to have a uh, comments box on that page and that's all